So we go to a pre-tape. We are back to Stone Cold Steve Austin in the local medical facility, and the nurse wants an autograph. Austin says, I, I, I thought we were through with all these tests, nurse. And the nurse says, we are. I just want to see if I can get your autograph. And Austin's signing it. And JR chimes in again. Hey, hey, Steve, Steve, what about this buried uh, mad Steve? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Hey. <laughs> yeah, well, Austin gets fucking pissed. What the hell are you talking about, buried live match? <laughs> hell, that son of a bitch won't make it a buried live match. When I get my hands on Paul Bearer and The Undertaker, you cost me the WWF championship and blasted me in my damn head with a shovel. You son of a bitch, you got hell to pay. <laughs> well, the nurse tries to calm him down and says, Mr. Austin, you really got to calm down and try to get some sleep here. And, and I was just, I'm trying. <laughs> You're going to have to give me more of that medication. You got me all fired up asking me stupid questions. And the nurse turns the light off and the light, it's dark in the room now. Austin's trying to sleep. And JR says, well, I'll get you some rest there, Hoss. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you shut the fuck up. I can imagine being a patient next to Stone Cold. What the fuck? Why is this guy so loud? Hey, Steve, one more question while you're fucking there. <laughs> hey, can you turn the light back on? I got a question. Your big what angle you coming up. What do you think the blue is? <laughs> so our hearse pulls up and Jerry Lawler says, Hey, what, what's that? <laughs> Jerry Lawler says, the fuck is that? And then Jerry Lawler proceeds to say that for the next 30 minutes. Dude, because this Dude, is no one cares. Crazy. Jerry Ross is like, who cares? What the fuck is Dude. I don't know what a horse even is. I can't spell it. H-O-R-S-E. What the fuck? Horse you're talking a about? A big ass horse. I see a fucking horse. What? What? Hey, Jerry, you see that? No, I don't know what the fuck that is. I mean, it could be anything when you think about it. Yes. It comes to the medical center where you, you can't even tell it's at a medical center. It's just a hearse, a huge hearse that's taken the full frame and then it hard cuts to the room and Undertaker is smothering Steve Austin to death in the room oh my god <laughs> dude just in the middle of the show big ass Undertaker is full mounting stone code on a hospital bed and he has a pillow on his face he's killing him and fucking Paul Bear saying oh, kill him <laughs> Jesus Christ the fuck dude, this is the funniest hard cut of all time her straight yeah. into Undertaker smothering Steve Austin in the dark in the dark yeah where's everybody yeah all the fucking hospital people left so Austin rolls out of bed Undertaker starts beating the shit out of him Paul Bear now has an ether rag in Austin's face and Austin passes out he stops fucking fighting back and Taker says yeah not so tough now are you <laughs> in the hospital I see Austin's feet this is fucked up <laughs> why are his feet out and Taker says there's no hurry now you see boy this is where you get off dude huh? this is insane <laughs> this is insane hey this, this is your last ride and then <laughs> before they cut to commercial undertaker drags stone cold out by his ankles all across the hospital floor <laughs> <laughs> which in in my mind he ha he drags him not only just out of this room through the entirety of the hospital we don't know what floor he's on then out the front door <laughs> <laughs> with the biggest man ever oh yes oh, drag his ass <laughs> Take his pants off! <laughs> <laughs> they drag his ass. So we go to the commercial. We come back from commercial. Austin has been loaded up into the back of the hearse. And then, <laughs> this is even funnier, the Undertaker and Paul Bear are driving the hearse. I thought they'd have, like, a guy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Paul Bear is the guy. He's driving. Yeah, he is the guy. Yeah, yeah, he's the driver. And they drive away from the hospital. Are you fucking crazy buddy <laughs> what the fuck is Santa going Zane's on gonna up the security or something man they just let this happen this was like this is more egregious than like at least in terrifier in the hospital like he kills everybody and we see him kill everybody undertaker doesn't hit one dude here extra hold on king where is this how to how, how how the hell is our camera here how are we seeing this <laughs> yeah, what is this <laughs> it's very yeah. dark yeah, Hearst backs up into what I assume is a cemetery, I think they said, right? I guess. Maybe their house is just in the backyard. <laughs> it's, a big, it's Cruel's backyard. That's where he lives. Paul Bearer and Undertaker get out of the hearse, and Paul Bearer says, uh, oh, this is the place. And Taker drags Austin out of the hearse, no shoes still. 
puts him on a pile of dirt, and Paul Bearer says, oh, it needs to be a little deeper. Uh, so I guess Undertaker, I mean, he's got to put in the hard work. He jumps into the grave and has a shovel and starts digging out the grave because he's, you need more. You need more <laughs> yeah, Paul Bearer is just talking shit to Steve Austin, like right yeah, over his head. Ya. Now, big shot, Mr. Stone Cold Steve Austin, laying there on the cold, wet ground. Who do you think you are? You This time you crossed the line. Yes, you have. Austin wakes up and he <laughs> grips up Paul Bear. I thought Taker was going to hit him in the head with a shovel again, <laughs> which he should have. But instead, he just grabs a side headlock and chokes him until Paul Bear does the fucking ether rag cheese. This is bullshit, man. You Dude, can't this keep is doing crazy this. cheese. Yeah, man. Can't keep doing this shit. I think this might be cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you fucking shut the fuck up? <laughs> so Taker said, Austin. Bearing you alive. That's too good for you. And Bear says, what are we going to do? And Taker says, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to embalm him. <laughs> hey. Alive? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're going to embalm him alive. Austin, you're going to know what pain is. And this is this is funny as shit. Taker says, how far is the funeral home? <laughs> <laughs> Not far. <laughs> it's like a fucking buddy cop movie. The fuck? And then they just load Austin back up into the hearse. Dude, okay. Taker and Paul Bear pull up to the crib with Austin in the hearse. <laughs> don't don't tell me. Are they gonna go th- and through with embalming Austin alive? Why don't you fucking call the cops? <laughs> hey, that's that's the embalming room. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, yeah, so it comes back from commercial. We're inside the funeral home now with cameraman. And Taker is carrying Austin into the funeral home, and Lawler legit says exactly what James said. Oh my gosh, that's the embalming room! (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah, sure, that makes sense, yeah. (laughs) So Taker puts Austin down on this fucking table, and Paul Barra says, This is, this, uh, this has gotta be the best idea you've ever had! And Taker says, you see, Austin, you can't tempt fate. Paul Bear puts something under his head and says, uh, get his nasty beer smelling clothes off of him. <laughs> so, <laughs> fucking, hey. <laughs> hey, don't you say that about Stone Cold. <laughs> so Paul Bear starts cutting Austin's shirt off. And I guess JR knew they were going to commercial, so he had to throw it to something. And all JR could muster up was, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> we're back from commercial. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't let this happen. And Taker says, Austin, I hope you can hear me because what you're about to experience is going to be the worst imaginable pain and horror that you could ever endure. And then Undertaker. Tony, what does Undertaker start saying here? <laughs> he goes, I saw Timberlake. Yeah. I, I see yo, and he's a, ah, he's a, I eat the pussy. Da, da, da. <laughs> I don't know what he was saying. He was going crazy. Steve, what's he saying? He's got that big ass steak. He's got that big ass embalming Dude. steak. Embalming sword? <laughs> He's gonna suck the fluids out of him. He's gonna suck him dry with his. Ade do Dambala. Give me the power, I beg of you. He said he's still Aza Timberlade out, and Paul Bear looks concerned. Then the sound of glass breaking is heard in the other room. Undertaker, it is the I guess- craziest crashing noise. You could have convinced yeah. me Kane <laughs> fell through the ceiling back there. <laughs> Oh, shit. Master, <laughs> through the door. <laughs> you see him get up, he's all dirty. Fuck. He's like, oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> he's falling. Fuck. <laughs> you guys get throat thing? Paul Bear opens the door and it, the camera guy follows it. His cane holding his like, ah, fuck. <laughs> dad, I brought my arm. Dad. Oh, my dad. <laughs> my leg. <laughs> I racked myself. Fuck my nuts. <laughs> So pair of scissors. <laughs> oh. He's like, are we not even bomb anymore? I'm just gonna stab him in the head. <laughs> well, Austin is now awake. He blocks the scissors, and then Austin. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so Austin blocks it, pushes Paul Bear away, and then drunkenly stumbles f- shoeless out of the room. Dude, no shoes. He slips on the floor and waddles, gets out of there. He somehow. does, and then the taker is getting choked out by Kane on the side, and then somehow the camera gets fucking annihilated or something. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. A special thank you to my Patreons for supporting me, and if you subscribe you get to see these videos early and uncensored. So once again, and special thank you to the following. Gman360, Snacks Domin, Torchcrawler, 
Keontae C. Lee, Ultimate 145, Ruben Robles, based in Asa Timbalade Brock the Jock Sampson, former actor Michael Penis, Watts, and Big Papa Pump's left nipple.